Well, Danny, to wrap up, uh, we'd like to see if you'd be willing to share something that the Lord's been doing in your life recently uh, that would help encourage and build up our listeners and viewers' faith. Yeah. Well, thank you for asking because the Lord has. You know, a lot of us, you know, and I kind of dabbed on this a little bit earlier, but, you know, when Jesus talks about the parable of like when someone gets delivered, he talks about how the house is swept clean, right? The house is swept clean, the been delivered but he says when their house is clean and it's empty it says it talked about the spirits getting more spirits to come and fill that empty space and a lot of believers need to understand this like when we are saved and set free you know we're still in a battle of faith and we have to be constantly filling ourselves with something we're always filling ourselves with something some listeners right now are filled with despair some are filled with hopelessness some are filled with depression some are filled with mental health battles. And I'm not trying to, you know, downplay any of that. But what the Bible says that we need to be filled with the Spirit often. Because why? We as believers, we leak. We're human vessels. We have gaps and holes and cracks because of what sin has done. So we must be filled daily. So, and a lot of times, you know, people are just like, even when they are believers and are not necessarily falling into a cycles of sin, but they're staying empty and they're just, getting on their phone, scrolling through Instagram or watching a TV show. Those are not bad, but we should always be filling ourselves up with the word of God, with worship, with the presence of the Lord, with acknowledging God. And, you know, the Bible says his word is spirit and life. So filling with the spirit, renewing our faith, meditating on scriptures, because that's what fills us up. And this is why the Bible says that the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking. Because a lot of people will go to eating and drinking to kind of fill that space. Ah, I'm bored. Let me go eat. Or I'm kind of depressed. Let me go eat. Let's fill ourselves up with the righteousness, joy, and peace in the Holy Ghost. And so really reminding believers, don't stay empty. Don't stay constantly be meditating on the Word of God, being thankful. That's Being filled with the Spirit is just something as being thank you, thankful, you know, as simple as being uh, allowing the joy of the Lord to be your strength. I hope this makes sense. I'm, I'm still wrapping my head around it, but I'm, we, we, we're being filled with something constantly. Either we're filling ourselves with fleshly desires. Remember, the Bible says, "Walk in the Spirit, not in the flesh." If we're only paying attention to our flesh, I want to watch TV. I want to go eat. I want to go spend money. I want to go scroll. That's going to leave us empty. But Jesus is the well that never runs dry. So get in His Word. Get at His feet. <laughs> 